uh, have you ever wondered why um, why some tech companies make certain decisions that seem uh, puzzling at first? Um, take AMD, for instance. Uh, um, before diving into their latest Ryzen 9000 X3D series, uh, a friendly reminder to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button would be appreciated. Uh, at, at CES, AMD unveiled the Ryzen 9000 X3D series, um, but not in the way many gamers had hoped. Uh, uh, the flagship model, the Ryzen 9 9950 X3D, will feature only one 3D V-cache die instead of the anticipated two. Uh, this decision aligns with AMD's previous strategies, uh, but it left many uh, scratching their heads and uh, given, according to reports, the, the choice and his choice stems from economic considerations. Uh, the company determined that a dual CCB setup uh, with 3D vCache would be too costly to produce CEB. Um, they also noted that the potential gaming benefits wouldn't justify the increased price tag for consumers. Um, um, in a clever design twist, AMD has repositioned uh, the core complex die uh, and the 3D vCache. Um, this change improves thermal management, uh, allowing for higher clock speeds and better overclocking um, capabilities, which um, the new Ryzen 9 CPUs featuring Zen 5 and 3D vCache promise impressive clock speeds similar to their non-X3D counterparts, with power consumption reaching up to 170 watts. Uh, interestingly, AMD um, has explored the possibility of uh, a two-tier 3D VCAST setup and found it technically feasible, some of them. Uh, however, they concluded that uh, the benefits didn't outweigh uh, the costs involved uh, uh, with advancements in technology, there may be a chance for AMD to revisit this idea in the future. But for now, affordability is, is key. Uh, and exciting news is on the horizon as AMD has confirmed the upcoming release of the Ryzen 9 9900X 3D and 9950 X 3D processors. And, and that while well, details on pricing remain under wraps, uh, the anticipation is building among tech enthusiasts. Uh, um, and speaking of tech, why did the computer go to therapy? Uh, because it had too many bytes. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, 